Hello, it's Lou Collins, and today I want to talk you through um, two of the products from Textures Geometrics range. Now, this is going to be the Nested Shapes and Words die set and the Dragonfly and Floral stamp set too. Now, this is one of my favourite stamp sets of all of the Textures collections. I absolutely love the detail in it, and I love that you can also snip away into it as well. And I'll show you some additional cards um, made using this stamp set at the end of this video as well. But um, just to show you how the two can work together. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be focusing on the dragonfly today and I'm going to stamp that dragonfly first of all to show you how it stamps because it is absolutely beautiful. Like I say, lots and lots of detail in there. Now you can use any of your ink pads that you prefer to use at home. So I'm actually going to be using Versamagic because I just love the colour. I didn't want to stamp in just black for today, but I'll show you, you'll see why in a little while, um, why I decided to add some colour in today. So stamping onto, it's around about a five by seven inch white card base using my Creative Craft Products stamp platform. I'm just going to pick that dragonfly stamp up. You can see I've been using it already today and I've already got lots of um, ink on there, but that's fine because I'm going to stamp directly over where that was. And I'm just going to ink this image up. Now this is a really small ink pad so I do need to probably go over a couple of times just because the ink's going to start drying before I get to do the impression but we'll get there. So lots of little taps. You can start, start to see that image coming through there. Look at the detail that we've got in there. Let's press this down and then we'll go back if we need to anywhere. Let's see. Oh, do you know what? That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I could probably get a little more solid colour in that triangle in the centre. So let's just do that. Press down a bit more ink there. But I really like that colour that's come through. I think that's mixed with a little bit of the black residual ink that was left on there. Look at that solid colour. Absolutely beautiful. Do you know what? If you need to batch make cards really quickly, a few of these just stamped quickly would be absolutely perfect. Now I want to show you this as well. This is onto one of the Textures Geometrics background papers. Literally just that image stamped in gold is brilliant. That would make a fantastic card straight away. No extra work needed there. So I'm going to take this away. I'm going to pop that to the side as well. I'll clean that up in a moment. So we can see here we've got all of that detail but we can add to this now as well and that's where these nested shapes and words come in because we've got circles, diamonds and triangles in here and we've got the arrow and we've got the words and they are quite a good size. Now I've already die cut the circles there and I've die cut two of them and I've also die cut the arrow too. Now this arrow is made to go over the middle there. Um, you can layer it with the stamp or you can completely use these on their own if you want to. I'm actually going to snip this just to make it a little bit longer. Just snip it in half. I'm going to use a wet glue and I'm going to use this with the pink frog glue applicator just pop a little bit of glue along the edge there and pop this down just where I want it. Now I have already stamped that dragonfly again just from black ink this time as you can see there. So I'm going to be using that in a little while. So that's going to cover up where I've got the gap in the arrow and I'm going to pop this gold there as well. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put down these circles also. So I'm starting to layer up here. So just go around the edge with my glue. You see we've got circle designs in here and we've got triangle designs. Now we've also got triangles in here too and diamonds and you can overlay any of these, whichever you feel fits best. So I'm going to put the large circle there and then just for a little bit of difference the smaller circle, I'm actually not going to overlay into the middle there as you'd expect, but I'm going to bring this down. Now you can see I've got another set of circles in the image there, so I've just overlaid that. Then I'm going to take this dragonfly and I'm going to lift these wings up slightly, put glue all down the body and put this directly over the top. So I'm now 
going back over so that dragonfly looks as if it's fluttering above those gold circles with all of that lovely detail in the background too. Now we've also got the word hello that I've die cut and we've got love you, happy thanks and birthday as well. And you can mix and match these as much as you like. I mean, hello, love, thank you, because you can take the S off the thanks. Um, happy birthday, of course, birthday, love, um, all, oh, happy you. You know, there's so many of these different words that you can make. So I'm just going to glue this down from black. I've just got one layer of cardstock here, but you can die cut three or four of these letters or words if you like just to create a thicker word there and I'm just going to finish this off with a few little gold sequins scattered about and there's one oh let's just turn that over so with sequins I like to put them upside down so that the domed bit on top can capture onto the glue a little easier let's put a couple up here I'm not going to go too mad with the sequins just a couple um, maybe one in the middle here and I've got a little bit of an ink smudge there not sure how I got that but let's put a sequin over it let's cover that over there we go so that is a really quick card the only bit that I'd done is I'd already pre die cut things um, which doesn't take any time at all and I had a fussy cut that um, black dragonfly out the black stamped dragonfly out but again it takes really a few moments to do that so there's that card let's just capture that gold under there how beautiful is that you can do that in any color you like you could batch make these as well so that is the dragonfly and floral stamp set from the geometrics range and that is also the nested word die set so let's just take a look at some other cards using these products so there's that dragonfly again just in the gold as I say just stamping it over the top of some pattern paper in gold emboss is beautiful there's that floral image so nice and clean really clear you can see that um, just a wash background wash there we've then got the circles diamonds triangles and arrow and of course the word cut to make this into a shaker card now I love this as it is looks almost um, it could be hot uh, hot air balloon but then if you turn that round look, you could be looking at um, some sort of light bulb or glitter ball even um, now this one was good fun this was using a gel plate to create a background and then I've stamped over the top of my background once I've made it um, and I've then a similar sort of image to here where I've cut out the dragonfly I actually re-stamped the white florals and cut those out and put them over the top I've put a pink die cut diamond in amongst the stamping as well and the words you can see how these images how all they all work together with the dies now this is another favorite of mine another shaker card and a different way a different configuration of all of those nested shapes that we've got within the die set and again mixing those dies look those triangles with that stamped image offsetting the stamped image as well just to the side with a nice stamped sentiment we have got sentiments included within this as well so we've got chase your dreams let your spirit soar beauty is everywhere and beautiful just the way you are which is the one I've used there so that's those two stamp sets um, I hope you have fun using them and I'd love to see what you make with them too